How to add default values for create issue screen in Jira Cloud. For a long time, it hasn't been available, but now it is, and I'm going to show you uh, one of the ways of how to do that. I also want to mention that this feature is available in Jira Data Center as a built-in um, availability, so you don't have to use an external apps for it, but in Jira Cloud, you do. But at least at the time when I'm recording this video, there is a free app available which you can use and which will help you do exactly that. And I will be showing you that app in this video. This video is part of our effort to deliver high quality training and learning materials for the Atlassian ecosystem in general. And if you want to support us, consider subscribing. And also we do offer paid services in those areas. So don't be shy, reach out to us if you have any kind of tasks that need help or we can help you with in the Jira or Confluence systems. Now, back to the topic at hand. So imagine the situation where while, you, while a user is creating a ticket, you want some of the fields to have default values so that the user doesn't have to uh, fill the fields like fr from, from the empty, uh, empty screen. Uh, therefore, you want to be able to add some values that will maybe guide the user towards what they need to input into the field uh, so that they have some help. Of course, there is a field description available in Jira, so that can be helpful as well. But if you want to add a lot more text than should theoretically be put into the description of the field name kind of itself, then it's not the best of the choices. Therefore, I'm going to show you today an app that it will allow you to do that. It's called Default Values for Create Issue Screen. And this app is developed by Gepson Software. I think I pronounced the name correctly. If I don't, then apologies. So shout out to you guys because this app is available for free, at least now. So you can just grab it, install on your instance and test it out. And I am going to show you how the app works and how to configure it. It is very simple. I've tested it before recording this video just to make sure that it works and it does and I really like it. So if you go to the app configuration, you will be able to configure, uh, to add the field configuration. So let's click this to add a field configuration. You can input some name over here. So I'll just say uh, bug default values because I'm going to add default values for the bug. And I'm going to say over here, which field do we want to put the default values for? So I'm going to use description, but I will stop also over here for a second. Just notice that there are only five fields available for now. Yeah, so maybe more fields will be added in the future, but in the current version that is available, you can add default values only for those five fields. So there is a little bit of a restriction over here, but still. You know, the description field, which is, I think, um, the, the most important one is still here. But of course, in other cases, other of those fields might also play a significant role. So it's good to have options over here, even if this is not a fully customizable list or, or, the, or the list of all the fields that you have in your Jira. Anyway, let's choose the description. Let's add the field. And now you can see that uh, um, text window appears over here and I can input, input the information that I want to have. So let's say that um, because I want this to be available for any bugs that I'm going to raise or my users are going to raise, I want them to uh, tell me uh, what was the result, what is the expected result, oops, um, some notes environment, some notes regarding the environment and maybe uh, how to reproduce, right? So, of course, we could add a lot more over here, but ju let's just focus on this. This is not the point. Um, and I could add more fields over here, but I want to just stop at the description and I'm going to hit add and this will create a field configuration. It will appear over here with the name I gave it, bug default values. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add context to it. And I'm going to say that I want it to be available in this project and I want it to be available only for bug issue types. There we go. <clears throat> there we go, context. 
exactly what I wanted. And now I'm going to go to that project. I'm going to switch project, ambitious army, and I'm going to create an issue in this project, ambitious army, a bug. And if I scroll down to the description field, you will see that now the description field has a text which will guide the user towards you know what else needs to be said over here. So as a user, I would now know exactly what to write down and it kind of created a semi-template for me so that I can provide the missing information, which is exactly what I was looking for. So that's basically it. Pretty simple, but also very, very useful for some of the cases, especially if you're working with uh, Jira service management, for example, this could be very interesting to have, even though you have canned responses over there. Uh, but if you're not working with Jira service management, if you're working with Jira software, but you still want to have these kind of um, templates or, or default values for the fields, wow, this is exactly what I was looking for. Awesome. I'm pretty sure that this will come in handy for many of you. If you've liked this functionality, consider going to uh, the Atlas Marketplace and browsing for the app and maybe testing it out for yourself. I think that it works really, really well. And if you liked the video and you found it useful, give it a like, post a comment just for the algorithm so that other users have it easier to find these materials. And if you know, if you need any kind of help, in the description you will find the email address which you can use to contact us and we will sit down and chat to figure out how we can help you. And with this, I thank you so much, and I'll be seeing you in one of the next videos. Cheers.